Now, I wanted to get into this real quick. Uh, I'm not going to be in here for much longer. I do have other stuff to attend to, so let me jump through this. I probably spent too much time on the iPhone, right? Nothing Phone 2A. This is a no-brainer. I don't even know why this made news. They're saying, um, yes, the it's confirmed. The Nothing 2A glyph lights do work. Um, yeah, like we knew that. We <laughs> that's their flagship. Uh, that's the staple of the brand, right? This is the glyph lights. They had it on Nothing Phone One. Now they got they have them on the Nothing Phone Two. And now I would expect them to have it on the Nothing Phone 2A and the Nothing Phone 3 and 4 and 5 and 6, right? That's what they're known by. That's their staple. That's going to be what um, consumers know nothing by is the glyph lights on the back. Now, the 2A is the watered down version. If you're not familiar, their A series, nothing is going to be similar to the Pixel A series, which is a, like I mentioned, a watered down version, right? But now this one will have the 2a will have it looks like only three glyph lights because look at this photo it shows one glyph light up here in the top left one here on the bottom left and then one on the uh on the right side at 60 degrees on the right side right so the 2a i mean excuse me the phone 2 the phone 2 that i'm holding up here has got lights all over the back Right now, this is their flagship device, so you would expect it to have more glyphs. The 2A, which we're seeing here, is their watered down version, so it looks like it's only going to have three, which is still fine. You can still run notifications off those, you can still run um, the, the, the Uber, um, how much time it takes for your Uber driver to get there. They implemented Uber with the glyph lights, so. It is interesting. I love that white design. As you can tell, it's similar to the two with the clear see-through back uh, in the glyph lights. But how it's not similar is the camera setup. Uh, excuse me. The cameras are the same. The sensors are the same. The only thing that's different is where they're placed on the back. Sort of like two eyeballs, right? Two, right, two eyes next to each other uh, parallel. Uh, but um, or left and right. Now, it's going to be similar in size of the Phone 2, same screen size, basically same width, same height, same uh, 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 depth. Cameras, as I mentioned, the same. Now, it's going to have a, a 1080p plus full HD display like the, like the Phone 2, which is not going to have LTPO. Um, and of course, the main difference is the CPU. It's going to have a MediaTek CPU, uh, which looks promising. Uh, I, 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 don't, I can't say that I welcomed that news, right? Uh, MediaTek CPU, but uh, some of you um, joining us might not be in the, in the United States. I know we have a number of viewers all over the world. But here in the U.S., we're not familiar with, with uh, uh, MediaTek, right? I don't think I've... No, I take that back. I had a, um, I've had a one plus, I had a, I had a phone with a MediaTek chip. It was a, it was a one plus Nord two, the global version. Did that have a MediaTek? I believe it did. Um, and I thought it was fine. I didn't have any issues with it. No performance issues, no overheating issues. Uh, took decent photos, nothing spectacular, but it's a, that was a, you know, mid-range phone. But um, from the testing and nothing put out a quick video last week, uh, I might link it in, in the description, basically um, describing how and why they chose MediaTek to be their processor for this device. Basically, they customized the Dimensity 7200. Uh, it's a it's a new version of the MediaTek Dimensity 7200. Nothing's version is the Dimensity 7200 Pro. So the Pro version is specifically for the Nothing Phone 2A. It was custom designed right alongside uh, MediaTek. So Nothing in MediaTek worked on this custom chip just for them. Now, 
it gives you more performance compared to the competitor at a lower cost. So that's why nothing chose this. So the comparable chips were Snapdragon chips, flagship, uh, excuse me, mid-range level. I believe it was the Snapdragon 7 Gen 2 is what they were debating which chip to go with. And they went with the Dimensity 7200 and turned it into a Pro because it actually gets better performance than the Snapdragon 7 Gen 2. And obviously, when you're dealing with mid-range phones, cost is, um, is the major factor. Um, and I can almost guarantee you they didn't say anything about the cost, but I can I can guarantee you they got price per chip it was lower with MediaTek than it was with Snapdragon. You know, nothing probably went to um, in the negotiations. Probably told MediaTek. <laughs> Um, they won. Well, I can't say that. Never mind. I don't want to put something out there that that may, may or may not be true. But it's pretty clear that the two main factors they went with MediaTek is performance. It actually performs better. They show the benchmark scores. It performs better than the Snapdragon Seven Gen Two. And what wasn't confirmed, but what I can confirm, when you're in, in business and you're manufacturing a product especially a mid-range product. It's not your flagship uh, product. Cost, 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 cost. Their cost. It was cheaper to buy a MediaTek per chip than it was Snapdragon. And that's what led to it. So um, I'm going to try to get my hands on one. I, I, I emailed and been in contact with nothing. They're giving them, they're not selling them in the US, unfortunately. But you can get one. You can get one on eBay after the launch. Um, I'm sure there'll be plenty on, on eBay, but I'm going to try to get one from nothing. So uh, nothing confirmed yet, but I will be working on it. Uh, definitely want to get this device. It looks really cool. I mean, it, it looks really nice. It really does. So uh, I'm definitely a supporter of nothing and uh, Carl Pay. So um, <clears throat> it's good to have them in the market, in the business. It puts pressure on everybody else to uh, do better. When you got more competition... Um, it's better for everybody, especially the consumer, right? Let's see. Moto Edge has MediaTek. Huh. One plus tab. Yeah, I think that's right. I didn't know Motorola went to MediaTek. Yeah, MediaTek. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the one that I used, the OnePlus Nord 2 global version, uh, I, it was fine with me. I didn't have one bad thing to say about it. In fact, I couldn't even tell, right? And that's the best thing, right? Is if you're using a MediaTek uh, or a different product than what you're used to, uh, if you can't even tell the difference, then that's a good thing, right? So, um, yeah. So I'll try to get this in-house and we'll see... Um, how that goes but i'll keep everybody up to date with that should be what the launch is just here in um in fact i'll email them when this is done because i need to ask them a question but uh the launch the global launch is march the 5th march 5th so that's what about 10 days something like that so uh we'll be uh we'll be anticipating that and hopefully i can uh, get my hands on one well i'm gonna get my hands on one i just don't know if it's gonna be from nothing <laughs> or eBay, right? Because if I if if I can't get one through nothing to review, I'm gonna buy one on eBay. I think brand new, they're what four hundred bucks. So <clears throat> we'll see. not that bad. We'll see. All right, all right, all right. So we went over 